Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So, Shin again. And we're currently staying here at Lef Farer Park. We arrived here in Singapore three days ago, I think. So, we initially stayed there in uh, Winks Hostel. Um, para lang siyang um, capsule uh, hotel for hostel for couples. Sorry, nagtitimpla ako ng coffee. Anyway, coffee muna tayo. May work pa ako hanggang ano, hanggang bukas ng umaga. Anyway, so ayun na nga, we arrived here three days ago. I'd like to give you an update kung ano na, ano-ano na ang requirements sa Singapore. Kasi before, mahigpit eh. Uh, at saka last time when I went to Bali they required some stuff uh, sa mga tourist and sa mga nag sa mga may layover lang sa mga may connecting flight pero ayun na nga, this time nagbago na naman ang requirements nila you don't have to worry kasi simba chat, amis now they don't require tourist for um, anything so you don't need to present your negative PCR test you don't need to present an insurance okay. a return ticket so syempre kailangan ka rin return tickets so yun yung mga hindi ka nagagasto sa insurance at saka sa RT-PCR hindi ka na matatanong noon hindi ka nahanapan noon so all you have to do is go to their um, tourist portal abang tawag doon teka lang ka So you have to fill out a form, online form siya, parang immigration form. Enter your passport number, your flight details, where you came from, and how long will you be staying in Singapore, mga ganun-ganun lang. And then return tickets. And then yun lang, tapos na. And ito yung pangalawa ko during pandemic. The last time, nung mag-transit lang ako sa Singapore, ang tinanong, ang daming hanash ni ating immigration officer. Mm -hmm. Para akong nasa beauty contest. Pero ngayon na, ngayon naman, kung kailan mag stay naman ako for 5 days, 5 or 6 days, I think. Wala naman tinanong sa akin mga friendship. So, sabi ko, meron. Lalaki yung immigration officer. <laughs> Hindi ako tinanong. Pero yung last time, babae. Sabi tanong, siguro it has something to do with, ano, with the gender of the immigration officer. Hindi ko rin sure. Pero ayun na nga, hassle-free. Um, ang ginawa ko lang doon, nag-fill up na kami ng form, ng immigration form. Nakakatawa pa kasi itong si boyfriend, nahirapan siyang mag-fill out. Hindi ko alam ang pinagagagawa niya. Kasi ayaw niya kasi ng, ano, ng, sa, sa cellphone gawin. Kasi maliit ang cellphone, diba? So pagkatapos na, ayun na nga, pagkatapos namin mag-fill out noon, edi diretso kami sa immigration. Tapos, hinihinihin sa akin yung passport, pinatanggal lang sa akin yung face mask, pinatingin sa camera, gumiti, char. And then, ano, fingerprint, pus na. Wala na, wala na tinanong na ano, kung ano-ano. Sabi ko, hmm, bakit kayo? Tapos, after mo palang mag-fill out nung ano, nung sa immigration form na yun, magsasend sila ng email confirmation, of course, to confirm na successful yung sinabmit mong form. And then, they will send you another email to let you know how long you can stay in Singapore. So, yung sinend sa akin, sabi sa akin dito, sarap naman, <laughs> laptop, trabaho muna tayo, mga neng, di ba? Char. <laughs> Based on the SG arrival card that you have submitted for immigration clearance on May 13, you have been issued this visit pass that entitles you to enter and remain in Singapore for um, the following purposes only until the date shown below. So it's pretty much for tourists. And I can stay here for 30 days and that's until the 12th of June. Ayan. After mo mag fill out ng form, bibigyan ka ng ano, electronic visit Pass. So, unlike before, sulat ka sa papel, napagkahaba-haba, kung anik ni kilalagay mo doon, ayoko kasi na ganun hassle. Mas maganda na ngayon ko sa electronic na. At saka, medyo safe siya. Kasi nga, COVID, di ba? So, para maiwasan yung ano, maiwasan yung paghawa-hawa ng kung anik ni Yarn. So, wala nang ibang hiningi sa akin. Um, hindi nga ako hininga ng ano eh, ng COVID vaccine. I mean, ng VAC certificate. Pero, baka kasi, 
ina- dinownload ko kasi yung app nila, yung Trace Together app. Sabi kasi sa isang website, kailangan doon i-download. So, ina- dinownload ko, tapos um, in-upload ko doon yung Vaxert, uh, which is, yun yung bagong Vaxert na kinuha ko kasi. Latest yun, February 2022. So, in-upload ko siya doon, finilapan ko rin yung, ano, yung app, and then ayun naman, na-go through siya, tapos na-verified naman nila na valid yung VAC cert ko. Kaya siguro hindi na ako hiningan. Feeling ko lang. So, yon mga amiga, mga friendships, mga backs, mga moms, wala ka nang gagastasin papuntang Singapore. It's free. All you have to do is buy your return tickets, budget mo, uh, pocket money, and everything. Yung nahihinga ng RT-PCR test, antigen or um, swab test, wala nang ganon. At hindi ka na rin hihinga ng insurance. Yun kasi yung medyo mahal din. Additional pa siya. So parang bawa naman tayo, di ba? So ang ganda ng room namin, with a view of the city, mala pa lang kasi gabi na eh. At saka ako, meron pa akong sariling station, working station, And we have two beds. So, dyan si Boy Fee. Dito ako. Kanya-kanya kami. Mali ko siya tulog eh. Ang matulog. Tiyar. So, we'll be staying here for three days. And then, gonna go back to the Philippines. Well, naman si boyfriend. Punta siya ng Saipan. And then, he's gonna go back to Bali. With his kids. If you have questions, let me know. Hold on. Hello? Hello? S22 Ultra. I like the 256 with 12 gig RAM. Yeah, because my phone is 12 gig RAM and it's really fast. I don't like 8 gig. Yes, higher RAM is faster. It makes a difference. 12 gig, how much? 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes. They also have 512 gigabytes. No, that's too much. 256 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes of RAM is 1,850. Say <laughs> more. What? Let me see. How much yeah. is that in Philippine money? Uh, I'm going to calculate. So it's 1,800. 1850 850 It's like 70,000 pesos. Hmm. That's like $1,400? Yeah. Well, that's fine. It's less than that. Hmm. Use XE. Do you use XE currency converter? What do you use? You just... No, I'll take a picture of the thing and I'll send it to you. Okay, okay. Okay, bye. Mm. <laughs> Kasi I plan to buy, to buy S22 um, Ultra dito sa, ano, sa Singapore. So, nagka-canvas ako kung magkano. Eh, uh, the, the price is $1,850 Singapore dollars. So, that's $69,654 pesos. Para 70,000 din. Parang parehas lang sa Pilipinas. Pilipinas, ganyan din ang... Ano niya eh. Let's see. 70. Tingnan natin kung may budget ako para dyan. Though, kaya naman. May, bad, may pera naman akong... May, kasya naman sa, sa perang naipon ko. Pero, I don't think it's really necessary for me to waste 70,000 pesos for a single phone. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> anyway, so mga friendship, um, it's time for you to visit Singapore. They're open for tourists. Feel free to go here in Singapore at mag-explore kayo, okay? Maganda pumunta ngayon sa ano, sa botanical garden at chuchu. Though hindi kami nakapunta doon sa mismong Orchid Flower Park. Maybe siguro in the next couple of days. Bukas, di ko sure. Pero, ano sila, in full, ano, bloom ngayon yung mga flowers. 
check it out. Pero napakainit din ng mga friends. Parang umulan na mainit pa rin yung yung ano to, yung paligid na hindi mo magets. Hindi ako ganun hindi ako ganun nag-enjoy sa Singapore kasi nga medyo iba ang ano niya, climate niya. Weird. Pero for you to experience Singapore, eh, punta na. So that's pretty much it. I hope you like this video. And um, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye!